What is going on guys, Tizwafa here, and welcome back to some more Arc Genesis Part 2. Let's see if we can, uh, there you go, I should have done it this way, I forgot. <laughs> That's how I ended last episode, waving at you guys with like in Spino and Bipedal mode, it was crazy. But welcome back to more Arc Genesis Part 2. Now last time we left off, let's go to Quadruped mode so we can move a little bit faster. Uh, we explored around the map and we're like, you know what, how, how do we get to this northern, or I guess actually it's the southern part of the map, hold on, how do I, get around. Yeah, I don't think I can zoom in while I'm on this guy, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's turn Gam up. There you go. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to like go across the borders of these, like the northern area and the southern area. And as you can see, the southern area is like significantly taller. We actually flew up there at the end of last episode and saw there's like a level above this, and then there's the layer for the southern area there. And I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's impossible to actually go up there from down here unless you have a heckin flyer uh some of you guys were actually advising me saying hey why don't you just buy a uh oh and by the way we have a lot of level ups here oh wait no we just have one uh some of you guys were actually saying hey why don't you actually buy a cryopod from helena cryopod uh suction up your si spino into the cryopod and then just fly up there and that's probably going to be what we end up uh doing but i did also read other comments from you guys saying hey while you're in that area why don't you go to the edge uh still actually you know let's dismount there yep that way we zoom in a little bit. Let's go this way and go to the edge, kind of in the middle of the map, basically the center of the map, you know, between the left and the right part of the, uh, the area here. And if I stay in this middle area, we're going to find an area, to, uh, a way to go between the right side of the map to the left side of the map. So we need to keep heading that away. We have to go on the spinal. Unfortunately, we're relatively in the center here so it's going to take a little while but we do have this guy in quadruped mode we can move a little bit faster i also got a really helpful comment reminding me saying hey uh if i wanted to heal up my spino without you know force feeding him a bunch of raw meat trying to heal him up that way uh saying the comment said hey why don't you just use the hydration buff uh for the spino i think that actually happened what two episodes ago or something like that whenever we actually tamed the spino we're fighting a spino right after we tamed this one we're fighting a spino uh and i saw the spino we're fighting basically healed up to full and that's because it like just barely touched the water and it healed up all the way up to full so if we ever get like really low on health and we're near some water yeah just go into the water we get a hydration buff we uh, seemingly i just heal up all the way so that's going to be a very very helpful thing uh now i do want to check the map here uh, did we move like at all? Eh, not really. Yeah, this map is heckin' huge, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna have to go for a while to get all the way over there. Isn't there, uh, is there water at the bottom of this? I think there is. I don't know if there's any teleporters all the way over there to take us all the way back up here, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay up here. Even though there might be water down there, it speeds us up a little bit. I think, I think I'm just gonna stick up here, and I'll just pause the recording real quick. And I'll see you guys over at the edge of the map, where I guess we're gonna see if we can go from this right side of the map to the left side of the map and see what's over there because it's very interesting because over here we have you know a normal looking map with like rivers and blue rivers and whatever else but on the left side there it's like all pink red with like water liquid or whatever that is i don't know oh wait no hold on wait i guess there's no way to actually go oh wait hold on hold on hold on looks like i have to actually drop down a level go into these little semicircles here and that's how we go okay yeah, I'm going to have to figure this stuff out. Oh, wait, no, I can just go to the other side, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to go across this bridge. Either way, oh, the spaceship we're on is going in hyper mode right now. Interesting. <laughs> Either way, yeah, let me just uh, let me just figure this out off camera. I'll see you guys over at the edge over here, and we can actually see what's over there, and maybe even get a sneak peek at the other side of the map, the left side of the map over there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, you guys are back. Just looking at the map here, it looks like we're, uh... It looks like we're pretty close here, so let's go back on the Spino. And it looks like there's another gigantic gateway there at the very end of this. And I don't know if we could actually open up that one. It looks like there's like a teleporter pad over there. I don't know if that's going to take us up or down. It might just take us down. That might be a way if you, if you draw. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's got arrows facing down, unfortunately. Man, I can still go to the other side if I really want to. But uh, yeah, on the way here, by the way, saw no ramps nothing to actually like gain elevation and go up i, I think i saw some comments up guys saying there's like ramps or something like that on the edges over here as well and i don't know oh wait oh, hold on hold on hold on looks like the left and right side or yeah i thought this was one big wall here but no it's not it's just kind of a wall in the middle you can kind of go around it here interesting let's keep going around see if we could are we in the middle now wait hold on whoa, whoa, whoa. look at this look at this 
Yeah, we're like basically in the middle now. Yeah, look at that. So we able to go to the other side just no problem? I think so. Oh, look at this. There's like glass or something here. Hold on. Oh, whoa. Oh, I think that's the, it's turning to day. Oh, gosh. Jeez, the sun is... Well, I'm like... It's artificial sun, I guess? I think on these spaceships... Oh, jeez. I think on these spaceships, they use like artificial suns and stars or whatever else for sunlight. So I don't know if you can call it a sun here. <laughs> but uh, holy heck, this is a crazy... I'm trying to look without getting blinded by that artificial sun or whatever there. <laughs> like there's floating islands here. So it seems like there's a third biome here. Or a third area here, I guess you can call this. Between the two big areas or biomes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, can't really see that. I don't know how to get into there though. Hold on, hold on. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh my, oh, 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 oh my gosh, holy heck. You just walk into there, ooh. I'm gonna get looked like a big piece of glass or something here, but yeah, I guess you can just walk into this, yeah. I think I saw some comments of you guys saying I need to tame something like in this in-between area, but it, I was like, oh man, how do I go into there? But no, you just literally just walk into there and then boom. Now, do we, do we have a problem with oxygen or anything? I'm like, I'm not, we were in like a spaceship or how, how, how do you control? Am I, am I floating up? Am I floating down? I guess it just controls by whichever way you're looking. You're just kind of heading that way, huh? Interesting. Space bar goes up or does Q go? No. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. We got, we got something over here. What is that? Astrodelphus. Wait, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I know. Yeah, look at that the little picture on the left side. It looks like a little dolphin guy. Yeah, this is what you guys were talking about. Some sort of dolphin. Oh, and look at this. The, if I kept on walking over here, I would have met a dead end. And it would have definitely implied, okay, yeah. You need to go through this. You need to, you need to bridge the gap on your own here, huh? Golly, that's bright. Oh, yeah, I have a... Uh, I can turn it down a little bit. I gamma up a little bit there. <laughs> so we can see a little bit, but... Man, where's that coming from, by the way? I don't know where that sunlight was coming from. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, you just walk right through. Oh my gosh, look, there's like a planet down there. Holy heck. Oh, I think, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, in real quick. Am I, uh, any, any, any problem with oxygen or? No, 100% on oxygen right now. I guess they imported oxygen into this area too. I guess it just doesn't have like gra artificial gravity like turned on or anything like that, huh? Oh, maybe, I, I wonder if I'm actually touching these little floating islands. Oh, whoa, look at that. There's another one right there. It's got wings. Void worm. Ooh. I need two mutagens to tame that thing? Oh, can I just... Uh, I, I, oh, oh, oh. Can I just float around? Oh, my gosh. And with the jetpack, this is even better. Holy heck. Hold on. I know you can... Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man, I've got the shield, though. It's kind of blocking it. Let's put this up. At least temporarily. Let's see. I, oh, oh, oh. What just happened? Oh yeah, that was the, the 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 super power punch, whatever you want to call it right there. Man, I just want to zoom in on these things, but now it's charging up my punches. Yeah, I, I get comments reminding me I need to look at my heckin' key bindings and see what to, I'm going to take that off, at least temporarily. Uh, reminding me about the key bindings, I need to look into that, but that's what those little dolphin guys. So I guess Astrocetus is the space whale, Astrodelphus is the space dolphin. Now, where was that void worm or void... Uh, what was the thing? It was like a wyvern, but I guess, I guess, is this what it's called? The void? I guess is what this biome is called, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's just the sound of my jetpack. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very quiet. Like I'm sitting here not doing a thing, not even moving. Oh, well, there's small little, little ambient noises every now and then. But remember in space, no one could hear you scream. I feel like that's been myth busted or like not, not literally myth busted, but I'm pretty sure I've read like space related articles being like, oh yeah, you can hear stuff in space. And they recorded like the sounds of like Jupiter or some meme. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that is a myth that needs to be busted, but I don't know where that uh, thing was. I might want to actually start flying around a little bit here with my spino, which is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a weird way. Oh, here we go. Are those islands? Uh, I don't know which islands are close. I, I guess we'll go over here and there's another bridge over there as well. I guess we'll just kind of explore this. <laughs> See if there's anything over here. And, but, uh, and I might want to tame one of those dolphin guys. I wonder if we tamed one. If I could actually just bring it over here. Because I, I know the mutagen is what you need for the uh, spiky wall. Hold on, hold on. 
Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't watch all of last episode, I completely forgot to name this guy last episode until the very end. I think I had to record a thing at the very end, like, like appendage at the very end of the heckin' video or something. <laughs> but I, I named him Spiky Waffle uh, after the top commenter from like two episodes ago. So if you guys didn't watch the whole episode, then at the very, very end is when I named this guy. If you guys are wondering why I have a name on him. Uh, but Astro Delphus. Yeah, it doesn't say what I need for these guys, though. Oh, well, it says it's not tameable, man. But there was someone saying I need to tame one of these guys. Or maybe they were just saying, hey, there's space dolphins here. But the mutagen thing, what is that? What is a mutagen? Well, I guess you can't really craft it. I guess it's like a resource that you actually just get. And I would not be surprised if that mutagen thing is something. And hold on. If, if this guy's set to follow me and I'm floating around with my jetpack, which, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at this. We're able to move decently fast. I'm pretty sure if we have the tech jetpack, we might be able to move a little bit faster. Hold on. I have that here, don't I? Yeah, there it is right there. If I switch that out. Boom, boom. Yeah, I'm able, I'm able to move a little bit more. I guess agile, left, right, up, down, back and forth, etc. I think with the jetpack, you're able only uh, the jetpack glider backpack combo. Oh, nice. Pooping in space. <laughs> But I think with the uh, the thing we just had, I think that limits you to only going up and then you have to, you know, glide down and that's how you can move, uh, you know, laterally left, right and whatnot. I do want to go to this island. My Spino is set to follow me, which is good. I think he's like, I don't know, is he faster than me with the, uh, the jetpack? I feel like he is. Yeah. And I'm able to sprint while floating. I don't know. Oh, oh, Astrocetus. Yeah, Astrocetus over here. Well, you can tame them, so that's cool. Maybe I will end up taming one of those bad boys. We haven't had one of those since uh, Genesis Part One, but I think we, I don't think we ever. Yeah, we never tamed one in Genesis Part One. That's why I ended up taming one randomly. Rand Ragnarok, and then we uninstalled Pugnation, and then it disappeared because it was part of Pugnation. So that kind of sucked. Uh, I can zoom. Yeah, I can zoom in because I have the gloves uninstalled or whatever you want to call. It. Ew, look at that. A little bit of a better view of the uh, the space dolphin right there. It kind of looks like a weird like crustacean or something. It's kind of nasty looking, honestly. <laughs> kind of want to adventure on this thing, though. Like, what is a mutagen? And am I able to, f like, harvest it from this? And am I able to, like, walk on this? Does, does this little planetoid thing? Oh, are these met- oh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These look like metal rich. I think they are. I think that's- Oh, yeah, we're getting tons. I think that's- oh, yep, you are able to walk on this cool- well, my Spino isn't able to. That's kind of weird. Hold on. If I wanted to- how do, how do I- I need to figure out how to- oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, now we're walking. Now, what are, what are these things? Are these plants able to give me stuff? Do I have a sickle on me? I don't know if I- did I ever- I don't know if I ever made one. Uh, if I did, I don't think- yeah, I don't think we have it in our inventory, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, these are like crystals. Well, I think there was like plants or something like that. Element shards! Oh! Okay, this is a pretty crazy part of the map here, you guys. Straight up element, too, not just shards. I think, what is it, 100 element shards to get one element? So I was like, oh, man, uh, you have to come over here to get a bunch of element shards, and then you get the element. You use, you use that to, to power element or uh, tech stuff and whatnot. But no, we're getting straight up element here as well. Six of it, too. We've only harvested a few of these things. Holy, this is good stuff here, you guys. Man, hold on. How much carry with this guy? Oh, he only has 500 pounds, so... I feel like he's going to hold us back a little bit with all the loot and I'm going to want to do over here, especially with all the metal and whatnot. That, I don't know if I mentioned it just a second ago. I was trying to mention it, but someone did say, hey, you definitely want to tame an Ankylo to actually, you know, get, you know, more metal from the metal rich rock and whatnot instead of using just a pickaxe and whatnot. Definitely makes sense. Using an Ankylo, it's able to get more metal and it, I think metal weighs less in its inventory compared to a uh, regular creature's inventory. I forget if that's a vanilla thing or a modded thing. I feel like it's a vanilla thing. And then I think stone weighs less than like a Dodicarus's inventory. I think that's vanilla. But either way, uh, yeah, there, if, if I ever need metal, <laughs> I know where that can go now, haters. Golly. All right, now, can I float now? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I kind of have to run off the edge, actually, if I want to kind of detach myself from this little planetoid with its own little microgravity. I guess you could describe it. Oh, those little, little bat guys. Hold on. Yeah, Seekers, I hate those guys. Hopefully it comes over here, seeks over here, and I actually slice it up and get out of here. Oh man, look at my Spino floating behind me like that. <laughs> Hold on, I kind of want to get my Spino over here to kill the Seeker. And oh, there you go, one hit, boom! Got him, nice. Alright, man, look at all these crystals over here, though. 
Holy heck. Now, I don't, I don't know if I want to spend too much time over here. I, I definitely want to come back here with, like, potentially an Ankylo or something like that. Now, I, I don't even know if I've even seen an Ankylo in uh, Genesis Part 2 yet. If I, if I have, I might have forgotten it. I'm like, it's, it's not like it's going to only going to spawn in a specific area or anything like that. I'm old. Kind of. It's just that um, it, it spawns in a relatively common area, you know, like trikes and uh, parasaurs and whatnot. Uh, if it, I'm like, if I'm out here and we got a little bit of carry weight to spare, I might as well get a little bit of metal. Even though I just said I wanted to come back here with the uh, the angular, but I'm like, I guess it wouldn't hurt if if we get over encumbered and whatnot. I guess I could drop a little bit of stone, uh, just because I'm like stone super to common nearby our uh, base. So if we ever need that, especially because we're like right next to a river, so there's a ton of river like stones and whatnot over there we can harvest. Uh, but, you know, metal, that's a little bit more valuable, so I will definitely get some of that hate up. But, let's see, how do I, uh, gotta run off the edge and then we start floating? Yeah, here we go. There's probably a better way to do that, I just, I'm just kind of adventuring around trying to figure this out, by the way. Oh, there's another secret over there. Oh, and by the way, yeah, uh, you guys know on Tuesday I, I was going to, I should have uploaded a Genesis Part 2 video. I didn't, oh, oh, Void Worm right there, mood 3 mutagens for that level 80 right there, ooh. See, I don't know. Do I kill that thing and it drops mutagens and that's what I use to tame these guys? I don't know what a mutagen is other than it sounds like it. And it looks like down there, it looks like a heckin' uh, little, 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 you know what. I, you guys probably figure it out there. Maybe I'll zoom in on the little, little picture down there. Yeah, there it is right there. Look at that. Looks like a little, little, little. I don't know if I could say the word and YouTube will like mark the video as like, the, you know what? <laughs> I'm just trying to be careful here, you guys. Make sure that YouTube doesn't like flag my video and stuff. Ah! What in the heck? What in the heck? Kill it! Kill it! I've got I've got regular arrows loaded in the second crossbow. Holy heck! Get him! Do some damage! Oh my gosh! He's like breathing like electricity or so. What? Oh my gosh! Hold on! Keep floating up. Can I? What? Here we go! Oh my gosh! I'm just floating like really slowly. That's why the void worm has half health. The void worm has half heckin' health. If we can start doing some damage, oh my gosh, my Spino is taking a bunch of zeros and ones right there, a bunch of heckin' binary damage. <laughs> Let's even get a little closer in a second. Uh, what do you call it right here? Void Worm. Get a little bit closer, do some good direct damage with my sword. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I think I need to, hold on, hold on. What'd that say? Health too high to start taming. Ooh, so I bet you have to take it within an inch of its life. Boom, dead and harvested. I bet you have to take it within an inch of its life, just like taming a heckin' uh, boss. I forget if that's back in a uh, mod or what. Oh yeah, well, you can't tame bosses in heckin' vanilla, of course it's modded. <laughs> but hey, there you go, we got it killed. I think I got the killing blow though, so that kind of sucks. Uh, if, if my spiky waffle got the killing, I don't know, maybe you did? I can't tell, because we got 11 Lelas right there. Seems like a lot, but then again, it's so low level that, you know, a little bit of XP will give it like a blonde jack and level ups. So I don't know. But either way, a level heckin' 80 right there, like, like, I was actually genuinely concerned for this guy's heckin' health here, but uh, it only lost about a thousand health, so hey, not that bad, I guess. Maybe we get a little bit of carry, you know, just a little bit of carry weight, a few level ups there, three level ups, not bad, I guess. Maybe a little bit of melee damage, get it up to like 600% boom. Uh, stamina, you know, let's get a little bit, yeah, stamina actually goes a long way per level up there, so hey, I'm not gonna complain about that, Hata. And I guess we'll just start to go into the, oh, there's another one right there. Another void worm. Ooh. I don't know why I wanted to call it a void... What? Like a void wyvern? I'm like, it looks like one, you know? Oh gosh, it's coming over. It's coming straight towards us. Uh-oh. There you go, do some damage. Do some direct damage straight. After our heckin' level up there. Ah! We got dismounted! Oh my gosh, I got like blinded or something there. What? Get him there, Spino. Get him! I'm gonna try and get the crossbow. Maybe do... Oh no, there's another one! There's two of them here! Hold on. Loaded boom. 74 damage there randomly. At least we're doing a little bit of damage. And my heckin' frame race taking some damage as well. Golly. Come on, let's get close to these guys. Slice them up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 37 damage, not too bad. Oh, it, is, uh, it says something about a space biome. I think it, yeah, cannot be tamed outside the space biome. So we have to actually be in the space biome to tame this thing. Golly. At least we got one killed right there. That's good. Man, the thing about these guys, though, is that they follow you. So you can't really avoid them. They, they come straight towards you. They move a lot faster, especially in heckin' space. They have that weird, like, technology breath. I don't even know how to describe it. There you go, boom. Hopefully the Spino can get the killing blow. I don't think so. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Is it, like, almost knocked out? Yeah, put... Oh, man, I got stunned. Ah, man. Can't go in this guy's inventory right now, unfortunately. Come on, come on, Spino, get the killing blow. 
If that can kill him, blow, he's, he's just one hit away. Man, oh, here we go, here we go, boom, got him. Nice, level 208 Spino just got the killing blow. And he got a few levels right there. I feel like the other one might have got the killing blow on that first one though, but man, this one's down to about half health now, so I really need to watch out. Let's get some levels on health, get up to like 12,000. Hopefully there's some water in this other biome though, just so we can actually heal up a little bit better though, golly. Oh, and yeah, we could have been in uh, bipedal mode and moved a little bit faster, but... Oh, whoops. Uh, but I, I guess for right now, just because there's like no water nearby, I kind of want to get this guy up to at least about half health. So about 6,000. I will force feed him, but I'm like, if we had some water, I'd definitely throw this guy in some water, get some hydration buff. Uh, but yeah, ho hopefully whatever purple red water that's on the other side of this bridge. There you go, that's fine. Uh, hopefully that's going to give us a hydration buff. I don't even know what it is, but I guess we'll just go over there real quick and see what we could find. And hopefully it's not going to be toxic or something like that. I right, guess I am back. Um, I, I, I've been trying to take like rest breaks and stuff like that with my Spino because he has no stamina right now or she has no stamina, but it, like it, nothing's happening. Like it, it, it doesn't go up. I, I literally, I just did like Soma 5. Uh, there you go. And then just standing here waiting for the stamina to go up and it's not, nothing's happening there. So I'm like, that kind of sucks. I guess in space you can't regain stamina. Oh, is this the, oh, this is the biome, isn't it? Ooh. Or the uh, left side, or what is it? Left side? Oh yeah, we're here. We're here. Or I think I am. Already looks a little bit different. I kind of want to have this guy follow me. I'm, I'll be on foot or something like that. It's moving super slowly. Is it, where can, is it going to gain stamina on its own whenever I'm not riding it? I hope so. Uh, no. Okay, that would have been really good if it did though, but I don't know why it's not. Oh man, look at this. And by the way, yeah. Got my shield back, got my uh, gloves back. Yeah, it's still moving really, really slow right now, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I guess just, oh my, whoa. Holy, look at this picture. It's like a little mushroom guys here. What is this? Oh my gosh, you get like every type of heckin' mushroom. Agravic, auric, acerbic, aquatic. Oh, oh, oh man, I can talk to Helen. I forgot about that. Are we going exploring? Don't, oh, I'm like, we've been exploring for the past, like, episode and a half or something like that, Helena. What is this? Hold on, wait, what is this supposed to be? If that's supposed to be, oh, shit, what's that sound? Like, storming or something like that outside. But if this is supposed to be a simulator, uh, if the other side was supposed to be, like, a simulation of Earth, I wonder what planet this is supposed to be. Oh, man, there's already something here. What is that? Oh, is it just an ichthyornis? Or ichthyornis? I don't know, I might be pro- oh. I keep hearing that sound of like something crashing. Yeah, this is definitely like some other heckin' planet. Definitely not. Definitely not Earth. I don't know what that whooshing sound is. Another one happening here. Definitely some sort of storm. And I'm like, we're inside of a heckin' spaceship or something. Oh, whoa! Is it like an acid rain or something? I guess it's fine. I, I, I assume. How's it doing with stamina? Any stamina back or no? It's still no stamina, huh? I wonder why there's no stamina on this thing. That sucks though. Oh man, is that an explorer note? I see it looks like something glowing a little bit right there. I don't think that's an explorer. It's just a regular rock or something there. I guess it's real old. Yes, it's definitely raining with like weird thunder claps and stuff like that going on right now. I don't know what's going on with that. There's a lot of like strange plants around here and I bet if I if I harvest this, it's just gonna be yep, just Omar Berry, Tintaberry Fiber, you know, just more of the same stuff that you're used to. It's very strange. And a, a few mushrooms mixed in here and there, but can't really complain about that. The mushrooms are really, really good. If you guys don't know from Aberration, that's what these mushrooms are. Uh, let's see, I think auric, that's, that's, if you eat an auric mushroom, that, that heals you up a little bit. Aquatic mushroom. I know one of these if you eat the wrong type of mushroom, and I, I, I know it looks like a Mario, but I think it's like a red mushroom or some meme. But I think if you get too close to that or touch it or something, you like a like, like like you start tripping out. <laughs> and one of these mushrooms uh kind of counteracts that effect. Uh, then another one of these I forget. Oh, oh there's a shine horn. Level twenty though. It's a shoulder mounted critter. I don't know if I want to have that guy. Of course he's a he's a light pet, so he'll light up your area. But I mean, this area seems already pretty heckin' lit. <laughs> Literally, because I can see just fine. I don't think the. Oh my god, look at this like giant tree root or whatever right here. What is this? But yeah, what what are the mushrooms do we have? Aquatic, aggravic, 
I know one of them heals you up. Acerbic? That's the one that's like a narco berry. And you could actually make narcotics out of that if I remember correctly. There's a jug bug or something there. What is this? Oh, it's just the same thing, just more uh, more, more foliage here randomly. What in the world? Well, I don't know what to do with the Spino here. I'm kind of inclined to maybe buy a Crypod. Put it inside of a Crypod. You know you know what? We just got 300 things from Helena. How much does a Crypod uh, cost your Helena? God, jeez, there you go. G'day, Survivor. Here's Let's see. Uh, 500. Uh, we just got 300 from her. So I guess we'll be spending about 200 of our own. Oh, you get two of them. What? I didn't notice that. Wait, hold on. Wait, whoa. Wait, it said two of them, and I only got one. I, th I think that's happened before, and uh, I still don't know why it does that. Either way, oh man, yeah, this thing has a lot of uh, stuff in its inventory, though. Well, yeah, I'm just going to put it inside of a crap and then immediately take it out and see if that fixes the, the stamina glitch. Oh, uh, there you go, and then there's its bag. There it is. Oh, pooping? Yeah, usually pooping fixes the stamina. I, I did try pooping in it. Yeah, look at that stamina. Pff, I don't know what was going on with that, you guys. But yeah, I, I did try pooping. I do know pooping sometimes fixes uh regain stamina and whatnot so that you know I, I did try that if you guys are wondering if you guys are leaving comments saying hey why don't you try pooping <laughs> maybe, maybe my spinal was constipated there <laughs> go inside of the crap i'd hope that out a little bit i don't know <laughs> either way what about these big old mushrooms here i don't think the spino is able yeah it just it just walks through trees and makes them tip over fall over and stuff and don't even give us any berries or anything here unfortunately so oh i i wonder why i'm not getting any fungal wood Oh, and that's the uh, Tapahara there. Ooh, that's that's one of those flyers that's able to fly up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. It's kind of crazy, kind of like a heckin' jetpack. And it has room for two people, and there's a Paraceratherium over here, too. Pretty good big critters. You get a lot of hide from those guys. Interesting stuff. Now, I wonder, hold on. Yeah, let me, let me look at the map. Where are we at? Yeah, look at that. Hold on. Let me let me try and uh, point this out, What I'm what I'm seeing here. In the middle there, there's like no... Well, I guess maybe there is a little bit of a cavern or a ravine or something like that in the middle. But you guys remember last episode, at the end of last episode, there's was like a technological, like... Uh, let's turn this off there. Uh, like it looked like a city or something like that in the middle of the the top and the bottom. Uh, I ended the episode off there and it looked like there were heckin' towers and multiple levels and elevators and stuff like that over there. It was crazy. But over here, I guess there's none of that. It, it looks like there is a strip between the a top and a bottom area there. But, I don't know. I guess we could explore that and see what's actually over there. I feel like it might be like above or below us or something. I don't know, but there's the big walls there. I think we're actually on the inside, though. I'm like, obviously we are, because we're just walking around in heckin' sunlight and nature and all that kind of stuff. Oh, man, I'm still hearing that noise. Though. Oh, whoa! Oh, it's a tech stego. Featherlight right up there, flying around. Look at this heckin' landscape, though. What is this? This is so much different. Oh, this is like a giant... Oh, am I able to climb? I don't know if I'm able to climb on top of this. And I don't know where the water is. I, I guess that's what that is, the red. If I could find some of that red and, and walk in it and get some hydration buff and get a little bit of healing going on for this guy, that would be really good. But I guess the water in this planet biome thing is red, and I'm very curious to see what that actually looks like in person. Let's see. And there's like vents there, I guess supplying oxygen or something there. Oh, is this what you guys were talking? Hold on. You guys were saying if I get to the wall of... Oh, killed an oil jug bug. Whoops. Uh, but if I get close to the wall or whatever, there's going to be like platforms or whatever. I guess that's what this is. No, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe the platforms you guys are talking about is that little bridge that we took into space right there. And it looks like we have a few predators over here. Oh, ankylos. Ankylos. We found some ankylos. Although I'm sure we could actually... Oh, level 80 right there. Not bad. Sure, we could find some ankylos in our uh, native area on the other side of the heckin' thing. Definitely want to make a... You know what? Should we make a base over here? You know, that way we have a base on e either side of the, uh, the, the the map here. Kind of want to. And if I do the, if I do do that, I definitely want to do that like in the middle of the uh, the top area. That way we're able to travel. Oh, I don't know why I'm killing these stegos. I, I guess I'm just doing it because why not? <laughs> I know the other predator guy I can kill there. But I kind of want to build a base in the middle. Oh, what is this... like a weird organ going on right there like an in, you know the in, musical instrument organ very weird battle music very new must be exclusive to the second biome here kill the dimorphodon kill that rg oh that's actually <sighs> level 112 rg man i did get some comments that we got saying hey if, if you give tame an rg if you can tame a tyrant on you should definitely do and i just got killed one that was a really good level what is that sound 
Oh, the, uh, hold on. There are structures there. Look at that. Let's get out of my PETA mode. There you go. Go to quadruped mode. We can move a little bit, little bit faster. Hold on. Where's the water at, by the way? We're on a cliff here. Is, that, is all the water dried out? I, I guess I wouldn't be too surprised by that, but look at this. I can landscape here. Nice little poop right there. How are we doing on health? We're at two thirds or something like that. Yeah, about at two thirds. Yeah, maybe get a little bit more health, a little bit of melee damage there, maybe a little bit of carry weight. Boom. Uh, Twenty extra pounds. Hey. Oh, whoa, 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 what was this? Why does that look like some sort of a predator there to the right? You guys, it's like following me. Oh, what? Oh my gosh! Oh my heckin' gosh! Wait, where? Oh, I'm getting eaten again. What? It's just spitting me out and stuff. Kill it. No, I got knocked out. What? Man, what in the world is this? <laughs> Am I dying over on still on my shoulder? I can still see him. Oh, wait, no, wait, where is he? Wait, is he floating or? Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, they do get, yeah, he's over there somewhere. He's getting picked up on my spy glass right now. Man, I don't know what to do about this second thing. I can't get knocked out, tranquilized. I'm full on torpidity right now. I can't, I can move. I can't get up. I can't. Golly. <laughs> like, I was literally in the middle of being like, oh, man, leave that thing. He's like tracking us. It's kind of, it's following us and stuff. Very sus. But get up right next to it. Boom. Snatches us up. Applies torpidity. Throws us up like a piece of trash. Snatches us up again. Throws us out. And then we get knocked out. So <laughs> now here we are. Oh my gosh, just my egg and luck, right? <sighs> Anyways, I guess I'll just wait until I run out of torpid and I wake up here, but that's probably going to take a few minutes, so I'll see you guys here in just a sec. Oh man, our torpidity is getting pretty low right now. Hopefully I wake up and don't immediately get snatched up again by whatever that thing is. How many? It doesn't even show. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. There's two of them right there looking like right at me. Let's get this guy to follow. Let's get our, uh, okay. Both my Dimorphon and my Spiny Waffle. Both set to follow me. They should be coming over here. Yes. Okay. Golly. I don't even know. I can't even tell my uh, Spino to try and kill the thing. Like, it's not even showing up on the Spy Lass. What in the world? How, what do I even do about that? I don't even know. Like, I guess just avoid those whenever I see them. But, like, golly, look at how much they blend in there. Man. All right. Well, here we go. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I, I don't know if I could actually. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it looks like it's about to. Oh, it looks like it was about to eat the. Or try and attack the spine or uh, stay over there or something. Yeah, look at that. It's not showing up on the spy lines there. I guess it's just a part of the foliage. It's a part of the nature. Oh, there's more of them down there. Oh, wait, no, it's an RG, actually. That's an RG with wings flapping there. It just kind of blends in with the color. Level 40 there. Although that, that looks like. You know, I'm going to get a good hard look at what these look like. They're orangish colored with like a Venus flytrap look at things at the very top. Like multiple of those mouths. And of course they move, they follow you, they, they look at you. So should be pretty obvious in that regard. But uh, I don't want to fall off this cliff and avoid that there to the left because it looks like there's more of them right there. So uh, let's dismount off the Spino and then oh, land on the Spino. Oh yeah, no fall. I keep forgetting that we have no fall damage because of our, uh, our tech what, exosuit or whatever it's called. But I do want to go down a little bit. Just because I want to... Oh, whoa! Oh, man, now I'm starving. Thankfully, I have a lot of uh, cooked meat right here, so that's good. And yeah, I'm like, we do have a water jar, which is good. I have full water right now. I don't have to worry about that. But look at these gigantic things here. Like, do I want to... I, I, I don't know if I want to drop on top of one of them. Oh, there's a waterfall over there. Perfect. And look at that. Look at that. Ew, look at that, like, giant worm or what? Ew. <laughs> Nasty looking thing. <laughs> I kind of want to go over to the water, but I don't know about these plants. Are they going to gobble me up, too? Oh, I guess not. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Keep going down though, and then uh, dismount and yep, land on the Spino sail. And there you go, back on him. Okay. Oh, this is the water right here. I don't even have to go all the way to the waterfall. It's like right here, actually. Ooh, yeah, it is the red water that we see on the map. Yeah. Interesting. I was wondering what that was. I guess it's literally just what is it? I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to speak too soon here. But I assume, like, we're not going to get, like, damaged by it. We're not going to get, like, poisoned by it. Or... Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a thing right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. There's one of those little things. It's going to gobble me up. Knock me out. Spit me out. Again. Let's get rid of these trees here. Let's go to bipedal mode so we can actually swipe at them a little bit faster. There you go. Cut them down. Oh, is there any more of these trees? Or, uh... I, I, don't, even, I don't even know what they call those things. We're fly trap things. I don't know. 
Hold on, okay, here we are in the water. There's another one right there. Beals, but hey, look at that giant frog guy's over here. I don't want to get the... Uh, there you go. And, uh, oh, yeah, I've, I've got full water right now. I don't, I don't need to worry about that. But, uh, my Spino is... Yeah, he is hydrated. He has a hydration buff. Is he is he going up right now in health? I don't think so. Let's go to quadruped mode there, yeah. Yeah, we do have hydrated buff on the right side, the top right side there, you can see. Uh, yep, hydrated, your dinos. Speed, health regeneration, and damage are boosted. So, yeah, health regen went up. So, are we actually regenerating a little bit faster? I, I guess we could force feed him and make it a, go up a, even faster. So I'm like, I guess it's good, but I'm like, whenever we, oh, well, there's a Sarko there too. Oh, and there's even more Metal Rich Rock over here. Nice. But yeah, well, I'm like, whenever we, uh, Sarko's like right next to that plant. I don't, I don't want, I want to kill the Sarko, but I don't want to get killed by the plant. Man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what was I saying just a second ago? I don't know. Uh, oh yeah. But I'm like, whenever we fought that one Spino and it touched the water, it was like almost dead, but it touches the water immediately. Oh gosh, there's one right there. There's one right there. It's about to turn around. It's looking at me. But that, that Spino like two episodes ago or whatever, um, touched the water immediately full health. So like a little bit OP right there. Like what is that? Heck, it's Spino have hacks enabled or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, kind of want to get out of this area. Seems like a dangerous area. Th those, those little Venus flytrap guys come in all sorts of different colors. So I'm like, they could blend in hardcore. I don't know if any of these rocks here are metal rich. They kind of look like it, like color wise, but I, I, I think it, oh, I'm like, yeah, look at this. That, that, those are, what are those? I don't know. They look metal rich, but I don't know if they actually are. Let's see, are we going to get a lot of metal? Oh no, they're like clay or something. Ugh. Getting a little bit of flint and stone and clay and a little bit of metal. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, you know what? I, I kind of want to end off the episode right here. Read you guys' comments. See what you guys are saying about this this biome over here. See if you guys were as surprised about what this actually looks like as I am. Because I'm pretty heckin' surprised. I thought maybe, oh, maybe it's like extinction or something like that. And all that red over there is like maybe lava or something like that. You know, whenever we look at the map there. But no. It's this weird like mushroom... The Dragon Ball Z like world where all the like everything's like different colors than what we're used to. There's like mushrooms growing all over the place. I can kill her plants all over the place. Oh, here's the uh, here's like some structures right here. Look at this. This is that center bit. Is this this uh, the center area here? Oh, yeah, it is. It kind of is. Yeah, look at this. Oh, and yeah, there's the upper area up there. The upper, uh, or I guess it's the lower area because we are heading south, but it's like physically up from where we are right now. Kind of like what. Kind of like at the end of the last episode, we got to the uh, to the middle area, and then we got to the 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 border between the lower area and the upper area. Interesting stuff. I guess it's kind of poetic how we're ending off this episode the same way we ended off last episode. It's just that we're on the other side of the map or something here, huh? But either way, like I said, I guess we could end off the episode right here. I can read you guys' comments and reactions to everything that happened on this episode, as well as any tips if you guys have any tips over here in this biome or whatever you want to call this over here. Uh, I might even have to look up and see what this biome's even heckin' called so I can put it in the title of the video and then we can finally figure this out. But uh, other than that, I guess we'll end off the video right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. It's YouTube sends... Oh man, there's a funky colored spino down there. Hold on. Be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Arc Genesis Part 2 comes out. Only a level 12 spinal. I don't have to worry about that. Our Dilophosaur. Ooh. But until next episode of Art Genesis Part 2, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis Part 2 in this crazy, wacky biome. <laughs> oh, bye there.